They say Jim Thorpe's story began in May of 1887 in a small log cabin on the North Can Canadian River. His legacy is it's probably, you know, two-part um, as far as like defeating racism, you know. Um, I'm just trying to think, I'm trying to verbalize it, what that means. What it means to defy racism, defy odds, defy time. There's just so much and I'm just, you know, I have all these emotions. A legend, his native name translated, Bright Path. Jim Thorpe's legacy, a lot of different people can identify with it. Athletes can identify with it. You know, people that, people that support, uh, you know, the underdog. And then, you know, Native Americans. Anita Thorpe is the granddaughter of Jim Thorpe. Are you related to the Jim Thorpe? And I probably say, yes, yes, I am. Perseverance personified, victory in the face of adversity. My father and my aunts and uncles, it was their whole life passion, keeping his name and like having the records, uh, having his record and his medals returned. Though none of them lived to see the day that wrong would be made right, Jim Thorpe is one of the greatest athletes of all time, a two-time Olympic gold medalist and the first Native American to win Olympic gold, a major league baseball player, a professional football player. His athleticism seemed to have no bounds, but the International Olympic Committee made one, claiming Thorpe was paid for playing two seasons of semi-professional baseball and stripped him of his 1912 Olympic medals. They sponsored other athletes from America to go to the Olympics, but when it came time for Jim Thorpe, he had to fund his own way, and that was, and that was a part of the, the racism. So I could, I could really speak of that, but uh, like I said, that's, that's not who I am. And neither was her grandfather. People say, well, he never really complained about it, but I know there was some, uh, uh, a deep hurt there. The IOC would later give duplicate medals to Thorpe's family, but it wasn't until July 15, 2022, the committee reinstated Thorpe as the sole winner of the pentathlon and decathlon and reinstated his Olympic records. For the next two years, Thorpe's medals are on loan to the National Archives in Washington, D.C. When he died, uh, his wife at the time brought him to Oklahoma to be buried, and that's what his wishes were, uh, to be buried in Oklahoma. But there were some things that happened. Many members of the Thorpe family are buried here in this cemetery just outside Prague. But when the Olympian passed away in 1953, the family needed help with an honorable burial and a monument. And that's how he ended up in Pennsylvania. To Jim Thorpe, a town in eastern Pennsylvania that was named after the athlete. The name change helped the town economically and gave Thorpe the recognition he earned and deserved. And so when asked, they said, well, why didn't you do anything? Natives didn't, just didn't have the voice at the time or the political backing or support from the government. But over time, that voice has gotten louder and the path brighter. In books, Jim Thorpe's Bright Path now read by his great-great-nieces and nephews. Neither of them knew just how far that path would lead. In movies, museums, to even the very story of how Jim Thorpe won gold in mismatched shoes because the team's belongings were stolen. He had a stuff one, one, one fit, but the other one was too big. But perhaps most importantly of all, now rightfully restored in history. Jim Thorpe was able to be wronged and still continue to be great.